What's up? Welcome back to the Newman Update. I don't have anything clever to say. Let's just get started with the stories. What are you told to do when you're caught on fire? Stop, drop, and roll, right? Well, for Jonathan Snyder, it's stop, drop, selfie. Let's take a look. Yep, this is me in front of my fire in my house. There's the fireman. You got a cigarette on you? So for future reference, if someone is choking, use a duck face maneuver to save their life. Frat boys and college kids everywhere, get ready for the next in the line of free food delivery devices. Introducing the Taco Cannon. Not only for Taco Tuesdays, this pressurized cannon will be used at, for the University of Nebraska Omaha's hockey team. Even more surprising than the fact that they have a hockey team in Nebraska is the new cannons that other schools will be using, including the pizza cannon that shoots large boxes of pizza and the 15-pound turkey launcher planned to be used on Thanksgiving. The NSA have tried to do something other than listen to conversations such as what we forgot to get at the supermarket and have created a mascot for Earth Day. This horrifying thing's name is Dunk and seems to be a recycling bin that works out on a daily basis. The NSA also added, we promise you we are done listening to everything you do. We really, really, really promise. Good news, everyone. The Brighton Tree Ninja has been found. Seriously, a 65-year-old man has been arrested for attempting to chop down a tree with a hammer. Authorities are still on look for the Delaware County sewer pirate. There's the two of them fighting. The Philadelphia Phillies have set a new record for attendance at Citizens Bank Park with Thursday's crowd being the smallest in Citizens Bank Park history. 17,097 fans came together on Thursday to root on their team during the 9-1 loss to the Miami Marlins. Yeah, the Marlins. Not surprisingly, hard liquor sales are through the roof, and Phillies will now pay you to come to the games. Just to think, this was the team that once sold out their stadium for 257 straight games and won a World Series. Go Phillies. That's it for this week's Newman Update. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.